everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. So a recent sus on the our subscriber of What? At least I'm being real and not being filtered. Or putting on an act. Anyway, so a subscriber of my Crystal Haley had um, recommended and suggested that I shop on Bell Hair Extensions and I had seen them um advertising on Instagram a couple of times. So she said that a shipping takes about three to four days, um, depending on where you are. It took half a century for this package to arrive. But it's finally here, obviously. What you had to literally do was just pay shipping because I ordered two, it came to it's about $28, but I had to just, just order one. $14 at the most. It does say the original price there, but you don't have to worry about paying that. Um, they're only selling quite a few uh, free ones, um, about 45 free ones um, up until obviously the 45 was up, and then if they, I'm pretty sure that they go back to um, you know, reselling them for what they are. So I ordered two just in case I run into a light in the box situation. So without further ado, because I'm anxious to see this, to open the damn package, as you obviously see, I do currently have extensions in. I still have my VP fashions. Did I just in here? <laughs> that I did. I'm well, sorry far they already look pretty promising and it also looks like a little bit of a certain with purple shampoo. Hands this guy that I've had for um, a few days now. And Shana's still in here because she's curious to see what the extensions look like as well. This person by nature, what can you do? She tells me that um, it's probably a good thing I ordered two. <laughs> it was like weird. Oh. Mm. It's probably definitely a good thing I ordered two bundles. I'm looking in the website, they always look so thick and luscious, etc. I think about using the elder purple shampoo them. Mm, they're good, maybe you wonder. Like, if worse comes to worse with these extensions, I um, can just continue using my VP fashions and not to mention, not to mention this blonde that I have. I use some, um, I trialed, I trialed um, the Gotta Be Blue one. A difference though, I will take out my current VP fashion ones. The only reason why I started, um, Investing in other extensions, especially this bell hair one, is mostly because my current extensions are just starting to get a little bit dry, I'm a bit tangled up at the roots, and just really, really dry at the ends. My sisters often said that the ends of my extensions feel worse than my own hair. I mean, it is mostly impartial because I had coloured them, I used chemicals to remove the colour, then because the colour was so stubborn, I had to use bleach, and then you know, no blonde bleach. Uh, hair is free. Side by side comparison is our blonde, um, but it gives my VP fashions. They just a tiny touch pale, uh, dark garments, but we'll still see. Okay. And I also did just freshly wash my hair today. Individually, they are very, very thin. There's a four clip left, a three clip left, and there goes another one. The ends are sort of very, very thick, so not too far there actually. It's also sort of no. Grips onto each other, two clip weft, not two clip weft, I think I'll just start sticking them in as I go along. I officially have them all in and undoubtedly these essentials are just paler than what my own hair is. Paler, darker. They have a lot of length, I feel very very tan mojo right now. I am really curious to see if they can be toned because the website said that they could. That you could do everything that you do with your own hair. Two days extensions. Another thing that I've noticed is that when um, they get a bit tossed around a bit too much, they fluff up, literally fluff up. Then the uh, single bursts, they're so tiny. I suppose if you have very, very fine hair, it's obviously a good thing. I do have the hair straightener cranked up, so I'm just going to smoothen over the top half of my hair. So with these extensions, it does quite a lot to put in. I know I'll order two bundles, but I figured they would be quite thick and genuine. I figured it wouldn't be so difficult to get every single one in. Some of the clips um, were even struggling to take rip. I don't know if the colour match is good. You can probably on camera, you can, it's like, it looks like probably on camera, it probably looks more like a. Um, Ombre or something like that. I'm of course curious to see if um, the hair turns well than the purple shampoo that I have. Which is why I got it just in case extensions came a little bit too golden compared to my own hair. No doubt you can see crap ton of tracks at the back. So let's just take you to the bathroom so that we can see the back. Okay, it's going to be interesting. There's definitely a lot of layers and a lot of thickness. Um, it's definitely a good amount of thickness there. It's very difficult doing this, I don't have an articulating screen on my camera. I mean, there is thickness there. I'm actually not too disappointed in that. Here is how it looks in the natural lighting. Obviously, the biggest thing I'll still have to turn it. If 
what I can. I don't think there's a lot of length and fullness. I look like I'm here about that anymore, but I just had a dead of colour whether or not I can tear it. Right, so I just now um, gave them a toning and shampoo. The thing is, they are 100% Kinecolon, meaning plastic, meaning weak material, meaning they don't tone at all. The reason why they look a little bit dark is because obviously they're wet. They definitely tried off the bat, felt instantly like plastic, even my sister said when I was cutting my fingers through it that it just feels like wig but on a weft obviously. I will be sticking with my um PP fashions for a little while longer just until maybe I try another brand. Depend depending on the very other um uh the prices is what I'm trying to say. I'm not, I'm not hating my um PP fashions ones except you can see that they are starting to you know fray up at the ends um, because I have um, put them through so many chemical processes when I have my rainbow um pastelish hair around Christmas time when I did the uh, blindfolded makeup, blindfolded makeup, blindfolded hair dye challenge, and off camera, and you know, in my own time, I just went over and highlighted or deepened up a few of the colours. And the next day, I decided to keep the colours out because I wanted to go back to my blonde. Just hence my colourless first impressions, which didn't work as well as what all the reviews on YouTube were saying. So I didn't come across this brand on YouTube or anything like that. Um, it was recommended to me by a subscriber, Crystal Haley. I know she's having a blast with these extensions, but I'm just not. The length was everything, but the fullness was there. It's only a good thing that I bought two bundles, otherwise one singular bundle would not have been enough to cover my whole entire head. The clips are very, very sturdy and a bit tricky to work with and I've just spent so long putting in so many wefts when with my VP Fashions ones, all I'm doing is putting two of, of the three clip wefts of the small size, uh, weft wider of another three clip one and two four clip ones. Obviously, um, I lost one down the drain, but three of the individual ones, and that's pretty much my hair done. Right now, I do have a majority of that in my hair. I do have the thickest four clip one here, and of course, all three of my single wefts. That's just how thick these extensions are. I don't need all of them in the ponytail. So, when I removed the uh, tall crease out of my hair, I did put them all in just so I could do it my hair all once. Unfortunately, these extensions do not uh, provide for me what I want. I don't want to wear plastic in my hair. Okay, so the length was every. Well, I just collected my mail today. Doesn't mean that it can't come through. We're not doing anything. <laughs> so the length was everything. I was really, really happy with the length. I definitely felt very Tanamojo um, with the length um, and a subtle fault. It's like it was more sparse at the roots, which is ironic and more full at the ends, which you would think it would actually be the other way around. But I, mean, I will still keep them. They're only 28 bucks shipping, um, which would certainly say a lot about a product. If you're, pay if you're paying. My sister does not know how to shut doors. You're paying um, a very, very small price um, extension, then you know that you're going to receive um, crappy ones. Um, if you're paying like BP fashion level of price, like a near freaking $400 Aussie dollars, you know, converted from American dollars, which was almost $300. Obviously, the quality is going to stick around better. Quality, quantity over quality, or whatever the expression is. I do love my VP Fashions ones. They are a perfect match for my hair. I only had to turn them once. Um, I think I might have gone through purple shampoo um, other times. These extensions have lasted me quite a while. I've only had them for a near couple of months. Fortunately, there's some um, bell ones. I'll have to you know, invest in either Foxy Locked or Luxy Hair. Um, I only went with VP Fashion because I was remembering about them, but during a blackout I couldn't remember the website name for the life of me, so I just had to settle for Hair House Warehouse ones, which is like the Aussie version of that is. Anyway, I've been talking for three years straight now, so like I said, unfortunately these extensions just didn't make the cut for me. I don't really have high expectations. I'm a very low maintenance, low maintenance person, but these just weren't really good enough and they were connect along, connect along. They're obviously better suited for like Halloween looks or just you know, if you go to a party and it matches perfectly. I will quickly show you the website. If you remember it's running low. We need my phone girl. Well I can't show you anything if I don't have a phone in front of me. Okay, so this is the website that I got them from. I did go with this one here because obviously it's the closest visually to what my hair is. Okay, Ash Blonde Isabella Hair Extensions. The hair extensions have started it all. Named after their creator and our CEO Bell. Inspired by her trip to Korea and amazed at the quality of their extensions, Bell set to work to revolutionise the American hair extensions market. 
These Ash Blonde 28 160 grams clipping extensions instantly transform your hair, making it thicker, longer, and making it more confident than ever. Give your hair the love it deserves with extensions made from the finest clinical on five in America. So you do get a um colour range at the bottom here. They are still um shipping for free from what I can see. The original price is 145. So that is the colour that they are, obviously. Well, essentially that's how the um, first model is wearing them with very, very tight shallow temple curls and another look-alike model. So these essentials are just looking amazing, looking flawless, looking like every girl's dream hair length. And so I do have the actual wefts on display. But sadly, unfortunately, um, these extensions look nothing like, um, you know, what they're supposed to be on the models. That's the thing that I was, you know, a bit paranoid about um, while I was waiting. Is it going to be as thick as what the models are wearing or is it just going to be, um, you know, like a lot in the box situation, which is technically was a lot in the box situation. I did have a lot of fullness once every single work was in. Um, I did have a lot of length, obviously. It's just the colour was so off. Even when I did attempts to tone them, it just... It did not work at all. I know that they're still damp-ish. It's hard to see the colour, but they're not even dry yet. And you can already tell them they're going to be a very poor um, colour match. They're still just so golden. And compared to my VP Fashions ones, like, seriously. So, unfortunately, um, thank you for the suggestion, Crystal Haley, but unfortunately I am disappointed in these extensions. For the life of me, I prefer VP Fashions, but I will definitely give um, probably Luxie Hair or Foxy Locks a try. Hey guys, it is by the next day, that's why I'm... That's why I'm still in the same outfit, so... I did dry um, the last 5% of the wefts off. And these ends are so hard to cut my fingers through, like, my own senses are so much easier. Anyway, so now that they're dry, um... As you can see, they're still not any closer of a match. Still just far too gone. I think not far off, but my hair is obviously a lot more of a, um white blonde or considered being ash blonde. So compared to compared to the wet wet wefts, you can still see the colour difference. These are more so different those who are a lot more of a strawberry blonde. So if you are strawberry blonde it is wet these extensions would be absolutely perfect for you. But because I'm obviously artificially um an ash blonde, the extensions just don't do it for me. But I mean I will still find a purpose to uh, use them for like a Halloween look or something. But yeah while they're not resuting my own hair at all it was only 28 bucks that I wasted initially, it's not like I paid the 445 or whatever the price was. And I'm gonna go out to the store now. Not now because nothing's open, but except for the supermarket, I think. I have to wait till after 9 pm so I can get some more all blacks. Completely irrelevant and a little bit random. <laughs> hey guys, now that the extensions are thoroughly dried, um they are looking you know, still pretty decently blonde, but you can probably still see my hair against um, the extensions but they aren't looking too far off and compared to you know again I keep saying this I know but let's give it a brief brush through um BP fashions are down to the natural texture so so that it still isn't too far off like it does blend in decently well this is of course under ring light as you can see um what I mean by feeling like Tana Monjo <laughs> Hair on the back as well. I'm just going to turn my ring light off so we can see in natural lighting. Alright, natural lighting, here we are. I probably do look a whole lot darker now with the extensions. One thing that's constantly annoying about them is um, whenever I go to comb my fingers through my hair, with the VP fashions I can just instantly go through my hair and well, the extensions. Um, with these ones, uh, the ends just get so knotted up so easily. And when I was um, blow drying them just to dry them off the expressway, Whenever the um, turbo would just hit the hair as I was moving the extensions away, the ends would get completely puffed up. The ends, and for synthetic hair, obviously the ends you're going to have the most trouble with. So I'm going to go outside now so that we can see in much... When I know that I showed you, um, yes, uh, take for yesterday's clip. Uh, when I was outside, my sister was just quickly um, helping me film that clip. I didn't really see it too well. Like, it, all my hair looked so white. There is definitely yellow tones in these extensions. I'm not even sure they blend in nicely or not because obviously when you get extensions, you want them to completely colour match. Except if you're going from you know, everything. So unless you're going for like uh, peekaboo highlights in colour form where they actually want to colour your hair. That's when extensions, you know, of a different tone are um, helpful. Anyway, I'm going to try and find my monopod 
and then we'll go outside. Okay, thank you, Monopod. Thank you, Selfie Stick. Thank you, XA Beauty Highlighter Palette. Uh, Highlighter Aurora. So this is how we look in natural lighting. I'm definitely blending um really well in this lighting from what I can see on my Selfie Stick. Uh, yeah, well, technically my Selfie Stick, but also my XA Beauty Highlighter Aurora uh, Lucent. I need to take a closer look at this ish. No bad blend. Like, I'm not starting to be mad at it anymore. It's still a subtle difference. Cat is nagging at me. There is still sadly a difference, as you can see. It's giving some very, very slight, very pale honey tones. Very, very light ones, like I just said. And yes, I know tracks are obvious at the top. My roots are growing in. I'm going to cull them soon. I did tone them just a little bit um, with some purple shampoo, which looked more blue, but. Blue and purple do the same thing, um, in hair dressing terms anyway. Not that I would recommend you tone your hair with purple hair, uh, blue hair dye, that won't work, you'll just tone your hair blue. It isn't bad the colour match anymore. Different lighting is obviously a little bit altered just slightly. But on camera, the ISO is obviously picking up the hair differently compared to real life. I'm going to quickly go grab my phone so that we can see on phone um, ISO. Okay, so just so that the quality is nice and crisp, I am filming this on my the front camera. Um, so this is how we're looking on my phone. Pretty sure we're looking really, really consistent on the phone. I mean, in person there is still some yellow tones, like a lot. Just one thing that's going to frustrate me a lot about these extensions is definitely, um, the ends. I know that's really weird to say, but the ends are just so thick and it's hard to comb your fingers through. I feel feeling like 100% like Tana Mojo right now, as I keep saying. But colour-wise, don't look so bad anymore in, um, Dark clothes, like I obviously see the footage, um, you know, once I import it and see for myself, etc. What you're seeing in person is obviously different to what you're seeing on camera because the ISO lighting picks up differently than what our own eyes do, duh. It's, um, it's not about the lens, um, I need to. <laughs> But now blocking the camera just on the screen a little bit. It's not so much the lens that's an issue for me, which is the color balance. I am just sorry, my head is in the way. I am just starting to maybe consider giving these extensions a second chance, but because they're synthetic, they will not last very long at all. We'll get sparse at the ends really quickly. I mean, the color will obviously stay where it is, but it's just human hair extensions. Um, they don't really last that long side by side with human hair extensions. They do have a synthetic coating on them. That's what makes them so soft and luscious in the first place. But give or take a few shampoos, synthetic coating is going to go away and then you're going to start to feel the true touch of uh, the extensions. Obviously they were once on someone's head. Obviously they were like, you know, cut, uh, sort of blade level and off. The typical 18 to 22 inches or so is generally the longest that you get. So well, what's on someone's hair, but then chemically processed it to help last a little bit longer. But one way or another, no matter what you do with extensions, they will always start to fray up. Same thing goes for synthetic ones. My first pair of extensions was synthetic, so I would know. The only downside about um, these extensions is they're all plastic, all Kinecolon. Could be designed to last very long. In person, there is a lot of yellow tones, but it is looking um, a little bit better. In um, digital lighting, uh, so it's making, every hopefully it's making everything look pretty consistent. As soon as I get my new paycheck, no, paycheck is when you're actually working for someone. Get my new pay, whatever you want to call it. I actually invest in other extensions that I do have my I and them. I only cost $189, depending on the shipping. Sorry, my um, phone ran out of storage space. I was talking for way too much. This is going to be a long video, but at least it's informative. At least it's my perspective and opinion, etc. So as I was saying before my phone cut off, um, I am half and half with these extensions. Like the colour match is so different to what I'm seeing in person compared to what the ISO and technology is showing. In technology, you're seeing, you're possibly seeing a lot of um, consistent evenness of colour. I did show in completely natural lighting what my room provides, room light lighting, bathroom lighting, uh, evening time lighting. I'm showing you outside natural lighting, but you know, not that my sister's um, recording skills were bad, but you know, just for a general better view, because um, I don't know, it's just that clip you couldn't see too well. Plus, um, the iPhone lighting is different to the camera lighting. So from what I'm seeing, it is relatively consistent, but it's the fact that they're plastic means they won't last. So the next time I get paid, I will probably um, 
check out a different extensions brand and why I'm not mentioning this extensions brand so soon because I wanted it to be a surprise. None of these extensions are dry tones to the best that I could get them. Uh, camera wise they're looking consistent, iPhone wise they're looking consistent. I think natural lighting they just look darker. Yeah, I'm very very conflicted with these extensions as you can so clearly tell. Uh. Go back in my room again. When I'm holding the hair out like this it looks very even. Letting it back down again, it probably looks like, you know, showing some true shades. <laughs> oh, the puns I'm coming up with today. I still don't know, I'm still so conflicted with these extensions. Plastic won't last, tone is debatable. Um, I'm just going to end up playing it safe in the end and just buying another pair of, uh, pair of extensions from another brand. It's just, you know, settle with that in the end. So, I just wanted to see how even a few of them were looking at a ponytail. All because I don't all of them in. Still not even sure if it's still post match for my own hair or not, but I only had these for a day or two, haven't put much wear into them. I can always start to feel the ends get a bit fatter, giving it they start to fray up a little bit. I'm sure the result will be no different if I had all of them in. So on that note, I am definitely going to give up on these extensions. Um I just settled for a different brand when it comes time for that. So this was my first impressions on Bell Hair Extensions. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye!